Hi everyone, my name's Ben and I'm an indie game developer from the UK. Earlier this month, I took a few days away from my main Unity project Lumbermill to try out Core, a new free game development platform centered around building, publishing and playing games. I built a small tropical adventure and for this second part, I'll be building something entirely different from start to finish. The first project was a chance to explore the software and this time around, I'll be using what I picked up to make something a bit more complex. I wanted to make something with arcade gameplay, a simple but addictive mechanic that offers plenty of replay value. I settled on an endless climber, something that blends an element of procedural generation with platforming. I sketched out a plan for how the levels will work before jumping into Core to create a new project to test some of the mechanics. Thankfully, Core has a ton of free assets built into it, which made prototyping the first basic test version of the game pretty easy. Just a small, quite plain tower for now, with platforms in the walls to try out the climbing mechanic. I wasn't sure if the game would play better in first person perspective, so I tested that by just switching out the third person camera for the first person camera. While it looked quite nice, first person made it pretty difficult to tell when you're standing on a platform, which, if we're honest, is kinda key to a platformer game. I also thought that only having platforms along the walls would get quite boring quite quickly, so to avoid adding unexplained floating platforms, I thought it could be interesting to add a lift shaft in the centre of the level which platforms can be attached to. Sort of like you're climbing your way out of an endless tower because the lift broke. Testing that, the concept definitely seemed to work, so I moved on from the basic prototype project to actually start building the game. So the concept for this is that you're at a scientific facility on an alien planet. The experiment has gone wrong though and a pipe has burst under the ground, causing toxic liquid from under the planet's surface to begin rising. The lift is unfortunately out of order and you need to climb to avoid the liquid. The twist though is that the tower is infinite. I'll show you how that'll work later in the video. I started setting up the level, beginning with the lift shaft. I used a sci-fi door asset and added a hologram where the door should be to explain that the lift is out of order. I then set up the first layer of walls. The mesh you see on the ground is going to be useful as below it you'll see the pipes and the liquid before the game begins. Next came the basic platform design. I used a sci-fi floor panel and added a wedge shape beneath it to add a sort of bracket holding the platform up. I then converted that to a template which is similar to a Unity prefab, meaning I can create copies of it throughout the game and edit just this one to make changes across all of them. I added a frame to help visually anchor the platform to the wall, for example. So with the basic building blocks of a level ready, I got to work putting together a level for the game. This is where the procedural generation part comes in. I'll be writing some Lua code to choose level templates at random and stack them as the player climbs. So I'm combining authored content with randomness, essentially, to make sure things aren't totally unpredictable. To test the first level, I moved the game's spawn point to the beginning to make sure the gameplay works, and everything looks right. Happy with that, I began work on some code to manage the game. You don't need any coding knowledge to make games in Core, but if you want to, there's a Lua API which adds a huge amount of flexibility. In this case, I added a trigger to the first level to register when the player has reached a certain height, at which point a new level will be added to the top of the tower. I got that printing some basic output at first to double check it was all working, before beginning work on coding a basic level builder, just selecting level templates at random for now. So here's the result of that. As I hit the trigger, new empty levels are stacked on top of the tower. With that working, I added the first actual level to the generator using a custom property, similar to how public variables work in Unity. This was the result at that point. As you climb the tower, the first level template is stacked higher and higher. Obviously, this isn't enough content to make things interesting yet, so I got to work designing some more levels. I duplicated the basic template a bunch of times and started laying out some platforms. With another level designed, next I needed a way to actually give players a score. The first thing that needed doing then was to add some UI to display the score. I added a counter, nice and big, at the top of the screen, which will display the score as players climb. The score will be based on the maximum height reach, so if you reach a certain height, then fall to the toxic liquid, you won't lose any points for the distance fallen. We need a script to handle the UI though, so I created that and added the score text field to the script as a custom property so it's able to access and modify it directly. So based on the player's Z position, which is the vertical axis in Core, 
a score is now shown at the top of the screen. It seemed about time to actually add the element of danger to this game, now that we've got a couple of levels, generation and scoring set up. I created a box to start off representing the toxic liquid before experimenting with different materials to find something that adds a bit of colour to the game. I ended up using an explosion material which I recolored to a pinkish red which I think contrasts quite well with the green of the holograms. It deforms nicely as it moves too which I thought was quite cool. Happy with the material I added a trigger to the liquid which will register when the player has made contact with it. With the trigger outputting text I made it actually kill the player character. This will then reset the level so you can try again. Now with the gameplay loop in place I could add leaderboards. These are ridiculously easy to set up in Core. Opened up the leaderboard window and created new leaderboards for total height climbed and score. This will hopefully add a nice challenge for people to come back and maintain their spot on the leaderboard for everyone to see. I'll be adding a leaderboard display in a minute. Before that though, I decided to start adding some nice visual details to the game as it's still looking quite simple. I added a load of pipes under the level to create a sense of depth with the liquid bubbling away underneath the pipes. I then generated some terrain. I experimented with a few different terrain types, including a canyon one, but ended up going with some gentle hills as it seemed the most suitable option in this case. I added a lunar surface material to it and then got to work on a nice sci-fi skybox. There are quite a few of these available by default which you can then customise to your liking. I removed a couple of the planets, adjusted the colour of the atmosphere and added a super dramatic planetary ring which you'll be able to see from an observation deck. With all that set up I hid the level templates under the terrain so you won't be able to see them but they'll be easy to edit and access when necessary. So next I designed a new level, this time adding a bit more difficulty to the game with a disappearing holographic platform. These will show and hide themselves on a timer, so you'll need to time your jumps to make sure you don't fall through them. I can adjust the timer platform is shown and hidden pretty easily from the platform's properties window. I also created a coin collectible which you'll be able to spend on tactical power-ups in the game. Next I added some UI to display how much money you have in the top left of the screen and added a couple of coins to the first level just to test everything was working. Here as I collect the coins, the money gets added to my bank in the top left. These will be saved, so if you leave the game and come back, you'll keep your money. Alright, so the game's nearly finished. The next thing to add is an observation deck, which will be where you spawn into the game. This will house a holographic plinth displaying the leaderboards. I was initially planning on putting some kind of power-up store in here, but decided against that as it made more sense to spend money automatically when you use power-ups in the game. The glass dome here looks out over the expanse of the planet with the planet's rings visible just to make the setting feel a bit more interesting. So with the leaderboard plinth all set up and happy with the design, I got the code implemented to actually display the leaderboards. This was also surprisingly easy to set up, just grabbing the data from the leaderboards with a single line of code and outputting each record to the holographic text. I then added a power up to the game, this will stop the liquid from rising for 3 seconds, giving the player a chance to gain some distance. I also added a cube with a force field material over the top of the liquid which just visually demonstrates what the power up is doing. I thought this could double up as a sort of safe surface to walk on, so if you fall you can trigger the power up and land on the force field without dying, giving yourself a few seconds to get back into the climbing. You can only use this once per game though and you're limited by how much money you can save up so you'll need to choose when to use this ability wisely. The final task was to just add a couple more level designs to add a bit of variation to the game. The game will choose these at random as you progress, but I also added a difficulty variable to each of the levels which will help the level builder to choose tiles that increase in difficulty. So at the beginning the game is easier, with trickier stuff and more holographic platforms appearing later on. I also added some text for displaying the player's high score so they have a personal goal to work towards beating. After a bit of polishing, spending forever choosing and adding sound effects and adding a few more details, I finally had a finished game. You begin on the observation deck, so you can check up on the high scores when you start the game. You can then run through an airlock to the tower. You can see the pipes and liquid deep below you and begin the game by setting off this trigger. The liquid begins rising, so you begin climbing, with the game infinitely adding layers until you can't climb anymore. If you fall or need a head start, you can set off the force field power up once per game, and you can spend any money you collect in subsequent playthroughs. The link to download Core for free, play the game, or make your own is in the description. 
It's a super flexible and easy to use platform, so I do highly recommend trying it out if you're interested in getting into game development and need somewhere to make and share games. If you like this video, remember to subscribe and to check out my other core video, linked in the top right of this video. I'm currently working on Lumber Mill, a commercial indie management game in Unity, so keep an eye out for my next video on that. Huge thanks to my patrons as always, with special thanks in particular to Sheshpesh, Nova, Pet Patrolman, Warner M14, Chris Naismith, Joshua, Ojo Marin, Mr. Smith, Mike James, HPR, Hayden, Cleb, Gecko, Logan, and BD Smith. Thanks very much for watching, hope you like the game, and I shall see you next time.